Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing, Play, Create. I'm so glad you're here. And as you can tell today, I'm wearing my holiday attire because I'm going to be sharing some December holiday music and movement activities. Let's get started. Sing, Play, Create. sharing some activities you can adapt and use from your K through fifth or sixth graders depending on your age group and your students. One of my favorite ones to use with the younger students in particular because it's a great transition activity. Dum, da, dum, dum. So this activity I do with just some instrumental background track. That's all you really need and because I'm moving around the room I don't do the traditional way of greeting them, have them find them spots. I greet them at the door. I wear a hat. I wear some reindeers. I do something a little crazy that's different. That just catches them off guard and I have them watching me. Then we're ready for fun. So I have the music playing on an instrumental um, background track and Sing, Play, Create has some holiday background tracks in the TPT store and also we're on Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Music so you can find them there or you might have your own holiday music that you can use for this activity. I don't like something with too fast of a steady beat because we are going to be moving and it's for the younger children. So those are some things to think about before you try this activity. So I have the music playing, I'm at the door, I'm greeting the kids, I don't talk. I do this all without saying anything, which also catches them off guard because I like to talk. <laughs> and sometimes I have a picture of Santa on the board and I'll say, look who's watching. Or if you have the elf on the shelf or something, you can use it for management too. Hoo hoo, yeah. This video is loaded with Christmas presents. <laughs> I do quiet and I have them follow me, motion, and then to the music, I'll just start doing an action. You know, maybe I'll just nod my head. You don't have to do too much thinking with this if you've been teaching music for a while. It's a really easy activity. It just gets us in the spirit and fun, and it's different than the traditional way you brought them in, which during these high holiday energy times, it's good to mix things up. Oh yeah. So here I've just started. And if they don't do it, I'll just kind of look at them and go. And then motion to them to follow the leader. You know, be my copycat. You might have some hand signs you've developed to do that. Eventually, you know, watch me, copycat, do some of those kind of things and just do it and then slowly change, like give it lots of time. Maybe next you'll pat the beat. Maybe you'll stop and sway. Then you could tiptoe, you could stomp, and soon you'll have everybody in a line. And then I move so that we're in a circle. And in my classroom, I had dots on the floor so they knew how to move in a circle. So this is something that was easy for me to do. I like to use instrumental tracks where there's not singing because I don't really want them to sing. I really want them to be watching me and I want them to feel the beat and I want them to be watching and feeling the sense of the group that we're in this together, making the beat to Together. So then we can do some fun things like I did. We can make a Santa belly to the beat, tap our nose like Rudolph's nose. We can do antlers on the beat. So you might want to think ahead of 10 different uh, moves that you want to do. And if you have pictures, you could put those on the board or have them in a PowerPoint. Um, but I, this is an activity where I don't spend a lot of time preparing it because it's just something that I do for a couple weeks in December and sometimes I do this later like in May towards the end of the school year. As I said, it's a transition activity. So I hope that gives you some ideas for a fun tra transition or you know, you can use this as part of your music lesson. Once they come in, you can have them stand up. The thing about this kind of activity that I always keep in mind is that once I do it, then I can have a student be the leader. 
That means after I do it a couple times, when we come back, I can use music that's winter music, and then I can have students be the steady beat leader. And you know, you can use movement cards, you can draw pictures, you can write words. Uh, it's, it's easy to do. You don't have to spend money to do this activity. Um, in fact, you can use the free resources I have in the Scene Play Create um, resource library and just use those cards over and over in a bunch of different activities. I hope you'll have fun trying this uh, Steady Beat Transition activity. Now I've written this up. It is in a new free resource that's in our library for the month of December. So I hope you will go and grab that. And let's get on to activity number two. <laughs> This activity is really fun because when the students walk in, they see the classroom instruments are organized and I'll tell you how I do this. But I know my students love to play instruments and I had instruments out for all of the holiday activities, using them in one way or another. And everybody was happy when they knew they were gonna get to play instruments. So that's what I like to do. With this game, what I did is I divide the class into the number of groups of instruments I'm gonna use. So let's say I'm gonna use drums, rhythm sticks, jingle bells, you know, triangles or something like that. I organize it so I have enough instruments that every student's gonna have one, but I'm going to group the students into groups of instruments, if that makes sense. So for this activity, you will want to have some pictures of instrument cards or just call out if that's what you choose to do. You can do it without the cards, but if you have instrument cards or you have posters that you can point to, that will be helpful. In the Sing, Play, Create free resource library, there's actually an instrument activity that has posters. It's an I Spy instruments game. Those posters are perfect for this activity. So I have the instruments grouped. You might want to put them in buckets and then get them out when you're ready. And then I put the students in the groups. And then what we do is we're going to play, play the instrument and switch. Now I don't want too much chaos going on. So we're only going to switch one instrument group at a time. So what that means is that I will have everybody playing the steady beat to the music. Now you might want to project one of the steady beat cards uh, on your projector. I like to use a lot of visuals, so I would probably have my Christmas steady beat cards that are in the free resource library up on the screen. And I would have those and I would be tapping it. We'd practice a little bit first with the music before we play the game. I also would review how do we treat our instrument and I have the students tell me talk about it. Okay, we're all together. Let's play. Okay, so start the music. You start playing the beat. Stop the music. Everybody freezes. Then I choose an instrument card or I call an instrument out. Uh, let's say I'll say jingle bells. So everybody who's in the Jingle Bell group now gets to nicely and kindly take their Jingle Bell and they can tiptoe, tiptoe over to someone else and say, may, may I please have your instrument? And they trade them. So they actually are gonna trade seat. If I went to the drummer person and I said, I wanna play the drum, may I have your drum please? Then they'll trade and the drum person will walk over and sit in the Jingle Bell spot with the Jingle Bell bucket and then I'll sit in the drum group and then I'll get to play the drum. So before the game begins, it's really important to say when we freeze, you have to switch because I want you to play each instrument at least one time, but you get to decide what the order it is. So that's how you give them their free choice, but really encourage them to want to do it. You're gonna play and freeze at least the number of times you have instruments. So if you have four instrument groups, then you need to do it four times so everybody gets to switch. There's an adaptation that you can do with the instrument playing game that you can use for your upper elementary students. If you have a set of rhythm cards or rhythm PowerPoint that has patterns in it that are for upper elementary, like the ones you've been using, 
then instead of just playing on the beat, you can have them play a rhythm pattern to the music. Now I would, at the beginning, before I did that, I would have them all sit down with an instrument. I would play through the rhythms that I'm going to use. I'd make sure we're all on the same page and explain that, yeah, this is fun to be getting up and switching and trading instruments, but the most important thing we're doing is playing the rhythm. We're gonna be watching to see who plays the best rhythm and let's make music together. That's a fun adaptation you can use for your upper elementary music students. Let's get on to activity number three. All of these activities are available in the Sing, Play, Create resource library. It's easy, you just subscribe, uh, you get a weekly newsletter, you get notes about sales, and uh, you'll get a free resource every month in addition to the over 75 resources that we already have available there. So I hope you'll go and subscribe. Activity number three is Santa needs more elves. Oh, he needs more elves because there's so many people on planet Earth that he can't get all the gifts to everyone and so he wants us to play this game to help him get more elves. This is a rhythm game that's really great for upper elementary. My students liked it. I hope yours will too. It's not that complicated. It's just fun because they're standing, they're, they're being characters, and they're also having to, to play a rhythm and there's ways to adapt it to do other things. But let's stick to the rhythm part of it. So you're gonna choose someone to be Santa. They're gonna either leave the room or go back, you know, turn around and count to 10. Everybody kind of scrambles around and they make a circle. Santa comes back in and he is gonna close his eyes and spin, just count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And he choo whoever he chooses, He's going to hand them four rhythm cards. So you'll want to have rhythm cards available. Some people may want to use cards where they have to put a pattern together. Or if you have rhythm flashcards, you could just use those if you want them just to play the pattern that's already. That's why it's easy to adapt which grade you want. So you can choose what the thing is that Santa's going to ask them to do to be an elf. It could be reading uh, solfege. Lots of different ways to play Santa Needs More Elves game. So Santa goes off, he, uh, everybody mixes up. You can play some music if you play piano while they're playing the game. Jingle bells, jingle bells. When you stop the music, they're all on their dots. Then Santa comes in and he spins around. You can play more music again. And he stops and whoever he stops on, that's who he gives the cards to and then they have to do the task. Now some children don't want to be put on the spot or there's other things involved with this game. So there's a couple of ways you can work around it. Santa can help them, a special elf that helps them. You could help them. They could ask a buddy to help them. There's lots of different ways to make it so that everybody can achieve and do the activity. It's not a test, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun. Get everybody to be Santa's elves so they can help Santa get the presents out. So they do the rhythm. Then that person turns into an elf and Santa and the elf now will go out. Do, 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 play the music, da, da, da. they come back in. They are both gonna spin do, 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 and then they each choose someone. So then you're gonna have two people that are uh, having them play the rhythms. You probably are walking around the circle, making sure they do it right and encouraging them, helping them. That's totally cool. And then now you're gonna have four people go out. And then you're gonna have eight people. And so the fun part of the game is it just gets silly because there's more people going out than there are people that can play the game. And everybody ends up helping Santa. And it's just a fun, happy, crazy, silly game. It's really good for that last week before the holiday break. I am really hoping that these holiday music activities will help you in your classroom over the next few weeks. Be sure to get these free resources from the Sing, Play, Create free resource library. Uh, feel free to put some comments below if you have questions or email me. I really am wishing you a happy holidays. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music.